I did a video a while back talking about the big cow variation of the Utter Madness. I showed it with this uh, Monster Duo 2 pack. Now the Monster Duo only came with the uh, little cow there. Right there, it has the uh, smaller cow. That's because the uh, big cow version, they had a problem with the licensing or something like that. So this was the uh, first short run variation. And then after that, the rest of the Monster Jam Utter Madnesses were released like this. As far as I know, there was no big cow version released in the Monster Duos. Uh, if I'm mistaken, please let me know. But somebody had asked about the uh, graphics with the big cow version, or actually with the Monster Jam. They asked, how exactly does Mattel do the graphics with the Monster Jam version? Since I got, uh, since I have added thousands of views, I mean subscribers to my channel since I did my last video talking about Mattel's graphic processes, uh, I thought today would be a good time. I also did not open up the Big Cow version last time, so I thought this would uh, be a good time to open it up and check out the flag. Let's see what, what exactly the flag was, because in the package, in the corner said uh, Flag Series. So this is the flag that you get. It's a little fab, nice, it's a fabric flag. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm gonna, I'll give it to my daughter, let her uh, put it up somewhere. But let's see, uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, Monster Jam truck. So here we have the big cow version. Not only did they change the cow, see, they brought the uh, letters, they brought the utter madness, made it big, and then made the cow small. This, uh, this is, oh, got the wrong one. Here's the Monster Jam. So not only did they change it from a big cow to a little cow, but if you take a close-up look at the teeth, let's look at the uh, first version. You got big square teeth. And then when they came out with the common version, let's see if we can zoom in here. He's got the sharp, jagged teeth. That's pretty interesting. Kind of cool, huh? Is that close enough? Can you see the uh, jagged teeth there? Closer? 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 Jeez, Louise, I can get pretty close on this thing. So anyways, um, so there was a variation in the teeth in addition to the cow being made uh, larger or smaller. But let's go ahead and talk about the uh, paint processes. Now, yes, it does appear that the uh, Monster Jam uses uh, what they call Fusion Graphics. Uh, which is actually basically like a, a water slide decal and uh, it's pre-printed and then Mattel puts it right on. Now let me use the uh, smaller dairy delivery here. Now the dairy delivery that was released with it used what is called inkjet printing. I don't know if you'll be able to tell but it's actually sprayed on just like your printer. It's slightly dull but what's neat about this process is that they can ink inkject the graphics onto the model and then it can like uh, fill in the nooks and crannies. A water slide decal is kind of expensive because they have to hand apply each decal and uh, put it in the right spot. One way that you can tell this is a decal is that right here on this edge, look at this edge on this window right here, if you notice the uh, printing stops short of the window frame. So it's a pre-printed decal that's laid in place and it's put right there. Now if this were one of their other processes you would see the colors which would probably bleed over a little bit. Let me get this old dairy delivery. Now this one if you notice steel passion because it was the Canadian release of the dairy delivery. Most Hot Wheels models are produced by tampos and basically what that is is uh, paint is put on a piece of rubber and then the rubber basically pad imprints the design onto the models. So they come down the production line and they, they get hit with the uh, tampo process. Now it's affordable, it's quick, but the problem with the tampo process is that as you can tell, look, at, look right here, the ink doesn't necessarily get into all the nooks and crannies. You can see broken spots where uh, the pad imprint didn't get into the nooks and crannies 
But let me get this uh, Utter Madness Monster uh, Jam here. If you check the nooks and crannies, the inkjet process gets into all the nooks and crannies because basically the paint is sprayed in. So if you look in the crack right here, we have no breakage. You look in the, in the fender well here, you got no breakage. So even though you do get slightly lower graphics resolution, they're able to spray it in all the nooks and crannies. Now, uh, a lot of the uh, Matchbox, not a lot, I should say, M Mattel also uses this uh, inkjet type of uh, printing to do some of their entertainment pack, five packs. See how they get the uh, graphics to continue up on the window right there? Well, that's because they spray the paint onto the model. This one here, I'm not sure. They can use either version. I have seen some that are inkjet and some that are a tampo. That one right there, I'm trying to see. It's a tampo. I can tell it's a. I can tell it's a. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. It's a uh, graphic. Uh, a decal. I can tell it's a decal because right in the eye of this guy, on his right sunglass, if you see, there's a bubble. See that bubble line right there? The uh, the water slide decal didn't lay exactly flat, but the graphics are very crisp on this, and that's because it's a decal. And then this one right here, see how they got the uh, Batman's cape to flow up over the windows? Well, that's because this one is inkjet. They just spray the graphics on there, and they're able to cover uneven surfaces. Now, the interesting thing about the uh, Monster Jam piece, now I'm going to use the Dairy Delivery again. Cause it's easier to hold in my hand. Excuse me. Um, the graph, the, the the graphics are actually a little dull to the touch. It is not glossy, so I wonder if they cannot clear coat inkjet processes. Um, let's see. What was the last thing I was going to talk about? So you got your three processes. You got your tampo process, in which they tampo on the model. Then they got the water decal, or what they call graphics fusion, that they apply, it's just like a sticker. And then you have the inkjet process, which is basically sprayed on. Oh, I remember the last thing I was going to talk about. Um, one th another thing that they changed, in addition to the Monster, ver Monster Jam version of the Dairy Delivery, not only is the body skinnier, you can see, look, the Hot Wheels Dairy Delivery, it's wider. Monster Jam version is slender. Not only did they change that, the fronts look the same, but uh, one of the main things they changed, because they're using a water slide decal, is they changed the contour on the side. Let me hold them like this. And the Dairy Delivery actually has a pretty good size ridge right here on the side. Well, for the Monster Jam version, they softened it up a lot. And I'm sure they did that so that this way when they lay down the water slide decal that they don't get uh, bubbles in here or they minimize the chance of a bubble whereas the dairy delivery version you can see it right there look how big this thing look how far it sticks out and look on that side it sticks out quite a bit so if they were to use a water slide decal you know they, they get a chance of having a bubble right here in this gap and in the background if you were looking yeah high, some highway 35 cars uh, the reason why these were a little more expensive back in the day is because they used the water slide decals they got crisp graphics. That's because the uh, through the graphic fusion process, they get the decal and they just lay it on the car, and it makes it look fantastic. Here's your here's your team leader. The uh, was a Roadrunner. I forgot what it was. Yep, seventy Roadrunner. Then you got your uh, split window here. Beautiful graphics because it was a water slide decal or what Mattel likes to call their graphics fusion process and last up the nomad beautiful graphics again because it's a water slide decal put right on there or graphics fusion like Mattel likes to call it anyways that's a refresher for your my old time subscribers and for my new ones uh, now you'll learn about the uh, printing processes for Mattel they got the three different processes that you will see them use, and I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.